Linux is everywhere. Linux powers most servers on the internet and Android OS, which is a variant of Linux dominating the mobile space. As a cybersecurity professional, knowing how to use Linux is essential, not optional. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how to effectively learn Linux for your cybersecurity career. Hi, my name is Kaiser Clark. I have over six years experience in cybersecurity and I currently work as a full-time penetration tester, also known as an ethical hacker, and I'm here to help you grow your hacking and cybersecurity knowledge. Let's get real about Linux. Linux isn't something you can just read about or watch videos on and suddenly master. Learning Linux requires hands-on practice and you need to get your hands dirty to truly understand it. My journey started with formal training, but the real learning came from doing. I started my Linux journey with the CompTIA Linux Plus certification. Now don't get me wrong, Linux Plus is not required, no certification is, but the structure training it offers helped me build a solid foundation. The certification process covers Linux essentials, including system management, scripting, and network configurations. If you're serious about getting a solid grounding in Linux, the Linux Plus certification is a reliable starting point. After Linux Plus, I needed hands-on practice. That's where platforms like TryHackMe and HackTheBox came into play. Both have dedicated Linux modules that let you apply what you've learned. The labs on these platforms are interactive and in my opinion, are some of the best resources to go from Linux beginner to a well-rounded user. Quick tip, make these platforms your go-to for more than just Linux. They're fantastic for various topics essential to cybersecurity. If you want to learn more about TryHackMe and HackTheBox, I have a video that tells you everything you need to know about each of these platforms. Consistency is key. Once you have a baseline, keep using Linux regularly. The more you work with it, especially on platforms like TryHackMe and HackTheBox, the more second nature it becomes. You'll find that Linux fluency comes from repetition and consistent exposure. If you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor and hit the like button and subscribe for more hacking and cybersecurity content. If you're looking at certifications, you have options beyond Linux Plus. Other certifications worth considering are the Red Hat Certified System Administrator, which is a cert that is highly regarded, especially for aspiring Linux system administrators. The Linux Professional Institute LPIC-1 is more vendor neutral and is great if you're not looking to specialize in a particular Linux distribution. And the Kali Linux Certified Professional is designed for offensive security professionals working with Kali Linux specifically. Now a bit of a heads up regarding KLCP. When I went through the old version of the course called Kali Linux Revealed, I didn't find it particularly valuable. However, the course has probably changed, so it would be worth considering. But remember, KLCP focuses only on Kali Linux, which limits your knowledge of other Linux distributions. That's why I recommend Linux Plus or LPIC 1 over KLCP for a broader foundation. You don't have to break the bank to learn Linux. There are affordable courses on sites like Udemy, and there are free Linux courses available searching online. Personally, I tried one of these free courses, but it didn't work out for me. The content wasn't engaging, and I found myself struggling to retain what I learned. That's when I opted for the Linux Plus certification, which made a huge difference for me. And one last note for the brave, you'll often hear people say, just install Arch Linux manually and you'll learn. <laughs> and while this advice is true, it's not exactly beginner friendly. Installing Arch manually is challenging and I wouldn't recommend it as your first step. But if you're up for it and enjoy a tough learning experience, go ahead and give it a try and let me know how it goes. So to recap, at minimum, sign up for Try Hack Me and Hack the Box. The hands-on labs will get you comfortable with Linux faster than any textbook ever could. And if you want certifications, consider CompTIA Linux Plus or LPIC 1 for a broad, vendor neutral foundation, Red Hat Certified System Administrator if you're targeting system administration roles, and check out KLCP if you're focusing on offense security with Kali Linux. And remember, learning Linux is a journey. The more you use it, the more fluent you'll become. Keep practicing, stay curious, and Linux will become second nature to you. Are you ready to dive in and start learning Linux right now? Check out my video on how to install Kali Linux. This tutorial covers the basis of setting up any Linux distribution in VirtualBox, making it the perfect starting point for anyone wanting to experiment with the different flavors of Linux. Click here, get hands on, and start building your Linux skills today.